Bill O'Reilly here, Wednesday, March 30th, 2022. You are listening to the O'Reilly Update. Here's what's happening today in America. A new poll shows Donald Trump beating Joe Biden in 2024. Governor DeSantis of Florida sues the White House. The feds approve a second COVID booster. Russia may be pulling back in Ukraine. Also ahead, could Michelle Obama save the Democratic Party? But first, a survey from Harvard says Donald Trump would beat Joe Biden by six points in a hypothetical rematch. The poll finds 47% preferring Trump, 41% backing Biden. Donald Trump also tops Kamala Harris by 11 points in a head-to-head contest, according to the poll. Mr. Trump hinting at another run for the White House during a rally in Georgia last weekend saying, quote, I ran twice, I won twice, and we just might have to do it again, unquote. Florida Governor DeSantis suing the Biden administration over federal mask mandates. His lawsuit joined by 20 other states. The group claims mandatory face coverings on planes, trains, public transportation is harming the tourism industry. The CDC recently extended the mandate on public transit until the end of April. The CEOs of Delta, American, and United Airlines all urging the White House to drop the requirement before the busy summer season. The Food and Drug Administration approving a fourth COVID injection. The agency recommending the second booster for all people over the age of 50 and for those with weak immune systems. Scientists say older Americans should get the extra dose four months after their third vax. Research shows the additional jab would lower the chances of severe COVID by 90%. The Kremlin confirming Russian troops will reduce military activity around the Ukrainian capital, Kiev. Moscow promising to focus on eastern parts of the country as Putin's brutal invasion enters its fifth week. Russia also scaling back the rhetoric on the use of nukes. Said a Russian spokesperson, quote, no one in this government is thinking about using a weapon of mass destruction, unquote. One note, what the Russian government puts out there must always be processed with skepticism. In a moment, will Michelle Obama ever run for president? Coming right back. Supply chain issues have been a catalyst to bring high-tech manufacturing back to the USA. My tech guy, the founder of Brownstone Research, calls it the great recalibration and discusses it in his new newsletter, Near Future Report. For 35 years, Jeff Brown has helped his subscribers safely navigate volatile times to preserve and grow wealth. He also answers your most pressing questions like how to protect your retirement from inflation. What are the implications of a new digital currency and the Great Reset? What will the Fed do with interest rates? And what's going to happen in the stock market this year? Brownstone Research has been at the forefront of major market moves for 35 years. Let Jeff help you by signing up for his newsletter today at a 75% discount, a 12-month subscription, only $49. So please go to jeffbrowntech.com. jeffbrowntech.com, jeffbrowntech.com. Time now for the O'Reilly Update message of the day. There is no question the Democratic Party is in deep trouble. All the polls show that. And there is a chance of a Republican landslide in the midterm vote this coming November. And then it's on to 2024, the next presidential election. It is very doubtful President Biden will run for re-election. And Vice President Harris is not going to get the nomination. So, who will? Maybe Michelle Robinson Obama. Let's run it down. She was born in Chicago on January 17, 1964. That makes her 58 years old. Her father, Frazier Robinson, 
was a Chicago water plant employee. Her mother, Marion, was a secretary. Her paternal great-great-grandfather, John Robinson, was born a slave in 1850 near Georgetown, South Carolina. She has one brother, Craig, a prominent college basketball coach. Mrs. Obama attended Princeton, then Harvard Law School. She met Barack Obama while working at a Chicago law firm. The two married in 1992. Then, of course, Michelle Obama served as First Lady from 2009 to 17. So why do I think Michelle Obama might ever run for president? Very simple, because I am, as you know, a simple man. Michelle Obama is extremely popular. Her memoir, Becoming, released in 2018, sold a staggering 14 million copies. That is an amazing success. The Obamas have two daughters, as you may know, Malia, 23, studied at Harvard, now a writer for Amazon Studios. Sasha, 20, is attending the University of Michigan. However, Michelle Obama doesn't have a lot to do. Now, the Obamas are building yet another mansion, this one in Hawaii. This makes three lavish homes, one in D.C., one on Martha's Vineyard in Massachusetts, and now Hawaii. And every now and then, people say, are you going to run for office? Well, she told The Hollywood Reporter, quote, I've never had a passion for politics. I just happen to be married to somebody who has a passion for politics. And he dragged me kicking and screaming into the arena. But now things are changing with the seeming collapse of the Democratic Party. Who were they going to nominate in 2024 as it stands now? Hillary Clinton? That's not going to happen. So there will be pressure put on Michelle Obama, perhaps by her husband, to get into politics because she might win. I'm just looking forward. I have no inside information. But remember what I said. I'm Bill O'Reilly. I approve the message by writing it. If you would like more honest news analysis, please visit BillOReilly.com where you can actually see me on television. In a moment, something you might not know. We have been brainwashed into believing the only way to grow our money for retirement is to risk it in the stock market. Not true. You can reach your financial goals without taking any unnecessary risks. Bank on yourself is a better way to grow and protect your hard-earned money. The retirement plan alternative has never had a losing year in more than 160 years. With Bank on Yourself, you get guaranteed predictable growth on your retirement income with no luck, skill, or guesswork required. It is all tax-free, without volatility, and you are the one in control. So there's no government penalties or restrictions. You can get a free report with all the details on how adding bank on yourself to your financial plan can help you take back control of your money. Just go to bankonyourself.com slash no spin. That's bankonyourself, one word, dot com slash no spin. Check it out. Now the O'Reilly Update brings you something you might not know. 41 years ago today, a deranged man shot President Ronald Reagan outside a hotel in Washington, D.C. The bullet pierced the president's left lung, missing his heart by inches. Miraculously, the 70-year-old commander-in-chief survived the attack. Here is the story. On March 30, 1981, Ronald Reagan departed the Hilton Hotel after meeting with labor leaders. As he approached his limousine, 25-year-old John Hinckley fired six shots at the president. The gunman was immediately detained by the Secret Service. Mr. Reagan rushed to the hospital. His first words to his wife, Nancy, quote, Honey, I forgot to duck. Hinckley later told police he tried to kill Mr. Reagan to impress actress Jodie Foster, with whom he was obsessed. 
He was writing a bunch of letters to the young film star, and one of them said, quote, over the past seven months, I've left you dozens of poems, letters, and love messages. The reason I'm going ahead with this attempt now is because I cannot wait any longer to impress you, unquote. In June 1982, Hinckley was found not guilty by reason of insanity. The would-be assassin was released from a psychiatric hospital in July 2016, and he's out on the street now. He does stuff on YouTube. And here's something else you might not know. Despite appearing in public a few weeks after the shooting, Ronald Reagan never fully recovered from the attack. He suffered extreme fatigue at times, hearing loss, and eventually cognitive decline. Mr. Reagan confirmed his diagnosis of Alzheimer's in November 1994, writing, quote, I now begin the journey that will lead me into the sunset of my life. I know that for America, there will always be a bright dawn ahead. May God always bless you. Ronald Reagan died in 2004 at the age of 93, 23 years after the shooting. For more detail about the 40th president's life and time in the White House, including the assassination attempt, please check out my best-selling book, Killing Reagan. There is also a movie of it that you can get pay-per-view. Back after this. Spring is here, and we are ready to get outside. But upgrading your yard alone can be a nightmare. Why not let FastGrowingTrees.com help? I love FastGrowingTrees.com. My new plants just arrived, and my yard looks great. Their experts curate thousands of plant varieties to pick from. You just order online or over the phone, and your plants are shipped in one to two days. Plus, their growing and care advice is available 24-7. One million people have already seen what FastGrowingTrees.com can do for them. Plus, with their 30-day Alive and Thrive guarantee, you can trust everything will be healthy for years to come. So please go to FastGrowingTrees, one word, FastGrowingTrees.com, slash bill right now, and you will get 15% off your entire order. Get 15% off at fastgrowingtrees.com slash bill. Fastgrowingtrees.com slash bill. Thank you for listening to the O'Reilly Update. I am Bill O'Reilly. No spin, just facts, and always looking out for you. (laughs) 